One nice thing about success is that it's encouraging. Since I haven't seen any crashes thus far, it, uh, it, it really does please me. And, uh, I'm glad I'm fucking techno-savvy enough and, uh, determined enough to, uh, solve the issues I was having in playing and recording this game simultaneously. As a result, I've decided that, uh, despite the fact that I'm under the weather and my eye doesn't feel as good as it should, I feel like continuing to record, so I will. More Romance of the Three Kingdoms 6, children, if you haven't figured out, by the way, judging by all the rambling and shit, I'm Grimmeth. Welcome to the motherfucking show. Last time, we took out some goddamn barbarians. Lu Bei gave their asses bows, which they promptly used on top of their fucking armored horses. This episode, I'm going to, uh, prepare to assail, um, Lu Zheng. Preferably before Zheng Lu cuts me off here at Jitong. Now, in the event that he does, I probably won't end up backstabbing my ally. Instead, I will just sit back here and improve my cities and consolidate my forces. I have so much more gold to collect, children. Far greater opportunity to draft all the barbarians in this city, turn them into armored horsemen, and beat the shit out of anyone who stands in my way. Goody goody fucking gumdrops. I know everybody. Let's get on with seeing that in action. How about? But let's not press the wrong fucking key. We're good. An envoy from Zhang Fei. An alliance? Funny, I just finished cursing out uh, uh, Lu Bei and Lone Bull Jing Fei appears. By the way, Su Sun Qian. Um, by the way, some of you folks have expressed your confusion. Lu Bei is busy <laughs> at the time of this scenario, so he is not leading the force that he would normally lead. Instead, Jang Fei is in charge of it. So there you go, now you know. If you want to know more information, you're going to have to read up on that. I, I'm not going to fucking spew everything from the novel at you children. Well, I am all for accepting free gold. To form an alliance with Zhang Fei, one city guy on the other side of the map, not gonna have any any contact with him. What does Pac-Man Shang say about this? You fucking stupid! You want 789 gold pieces? I can recruit more armored horsemen with this, dumbass. You don't understand this game at all. This is why I am the ruler and you are the war leader. I will lend him my strength. From all the way over here in Western China. Bye bye, Sun Kian. Go have fun debating uh, JG Mystery or some shit like that. Remember, third time's the charm. Uh oh! Uh oh! Lord Zhang Lu is calling for our aid. Reports say that Cao Cao's troops are approaching Cheng An. For the first time, Zhang Lu has requested aid. And I will go ahead and uh, honor my ally's request here. Can't guarantee I'm going to send a whole lot, but definitely. Um, he's been good to me. Has not backstabbed me, so uh, serves my interest to go ahead and aid him. Well, let's see what Cao Cao's sending here. 40,000 men, that's 400 units. <laughs> no surprise, it's Cao Cao. Aid, I can't detect how much aid is coming. Defend the city, I, I can't see how much. Okay, that's great. Okay. Relief force, then it is. Except. Which city will I send? The only eligible city. Form an army, this costs 40 energy. But I, I, you, you guys might find this crazy, me, me, the idea of me trying to be a man of honor and everything, but it connects to my personal virtues. I, I am not a fan of backstabbing people. I, it's just who I am. Now, you know, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll totally annul the alliance if it suits my interests, but I'm not just gonna, like, you know, I like to help people. Well, I, you know, I'll dispose of people sometimes that I think they'll no longer be useful, and if they deserve it, totally. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and send aid here in the form of horsemen. Take, take, uh, 73 horses. 
Maz, you no. I'm gonna actually I'm gonna have one of you two be an advisor, and I'm gonna have another one of the officers stay back. You two will be fine, I hope. This is a good enough aid. Shiny Unicorn is the leader here, and Maz Zhu will be our advisor. We will leave immediately to the aid chain end. Leave it to us. I shall. Nanmen King has attacked Lu Zhang City. Surprise! You just moved in? It's time for you to GTFO, Lu Zhang. Oh! Lu Zhang defeated the barbarians. I always like to mock and mockingly applaud the AI whenever they achieve success like that, like defeating the barbarians, because that's and that's a difficult task. Wan Xiao is just like, oh my God, I'm gonna beat you, Wu Wan King. No, he's not. What a dream! Ha 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 ha! Now, is the barbarian? Are the barbarians going to execute that officer they just captured, or will they be kind and release him? Yep. <laughs> Not so much. Sal Sal's attacked Chang'an. Lord, reports say that an enemy force has attacked Chang'an. We must send relief. Good thing I ordered that. I'm sending aid as our his, his other city, Hanzhong. Now, one cool thing about the city here is that it has a wall. Really damn handy. Now, of course, you know, I'm not on the field right now, so I can't make any commands or order actions here. All he has is that force. Oh, God, help him. He doesn't have anybody to block the gate. He does not, he does not. That gate can really be great at impeding enemy troops. Forcing them to dance across the river. Giving him far more, far, far enough time for aid to arrive. Why did he send a unit with one troop? What are you doing? God damn it! <laughs> I hope Yang Song's leading that unit so his ass can get captured and executed. He <laughs> can't even attack guy! <laughs> That was beautiful. Now watch the AI try to work this all together. You still have some people there going to defend that gate. That is totally obsolete idea. They circumnavigated the gate, bros. Was that dead wizard? I think it was. Why, hello there. Oh. What the? Wow! Let's take a look at this who's who here. Of course, Yang Song's out there. Alright, Pokey Hokey. Yang Song. Let's look at you. I executed him. Last night. Uh, while I was playing Romance of the Three Kings Eleven, captured him and I executed him. And it felt so good. Divisor Shang Lu. He is a greedy man who would do anything for money. He receives money from the enemy to cut Ma Chao off. He later falsely warns against Pan Dang. He is executed by Cao Cao for selling out his ruler, which he did. Shang Lu was allowed to live, and he became like the protector of Han Zhong or some shit like that. But Yang Song. Yep, Sal Sal executed his ass. Uh, would not have somebody for, you know, totally cool with bribing and using strategy like that, but keeping around an officer like that under his serve? No way. You fucking stupid. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if I can fucking salvage this somehow. Um. Who is the, uh, we gotta like, there's no, like, no enemy commander out here. Uh, let's go ahead and try to challenge somebody who we might be able to con into a duel. Don't think we'll be able to con any of these guys into duels. No, Shiny Unicorn doesn't have that good of a war. Actually, Wulong doesn't either. Well, shit. In that case, uh, I take that back. Um, cancel. Fake orders. Try to confuse the most populous unit, I guess. Wipe out. Um, your first assault is to Change normal you. Um, wipe out. 
change, normal, or rather chase rather than change. Speed is fine. We'll be good to go. Let's go ahead and cycle through these turns. Stop guarding the gate. Thank you. Alright. Thank you for going to defend your, your dude there, your, your ruler, your, your, your elite commander there. After all of those enemy units stacked right there. Hope that doesn't cost you the game, bros. Because, you know, I'm putting myself at risk here, too. Like, uh, once a flea happens, uh, my, my own units might get chased down, and my officers may get captured. Which is not cool. I put myself at risk, goddammit. We better do this. Hopefully we can polish off this unit pretty well before the enemy reinforcements. We're not. Wu Long can challenge one of you assholes to a duel. And, uh, let's see here. Cycle through. That's not what I wanted to look at at all. Here we go. Need to see war ratings. You. Zhu Ling. Challenge you to a duel. Okay, that'll be fine. Wipe out enemy. Okay, just want to make sure I give it to the right person. Don't fuck that up. Alright. Back out. Close. And obviously, I can't stand back and shoot arrows. I'd love to. But, you know, horses don't have arrows. Hokey hokey lit the fires. Oh my god. Now, uh, that unit there, I presume, is going to try and stop those guys. Don't tell me you're going to do it by standing on the gate. That would be, that would be sad. That would be absolutely pathetic. Okay. Maybe you're going to, like, try and light the supply tent on fire? Yeah, I think that's actually what he's doing. That's cool. Okay, we're not being as effective as I'd like here. We don't have the most uh, intelligent officers at our disposal here. Trying to lower the offense's morale there. I'm not going to be able to lower it enough to make them retreat, though, without destroying some units. Which is not happening right now. I need to destroy some, somebody's unit here. Song Jin, I've made the weakest by consistently attacking it, so I will continue to target that. And after that, I should target that and go after or continue to go after weaker units. Hopefully my ally here can uh, manage the... Oh, God! Um, is that who I wanted to do? Okay, yeah, that works. You have one blow and arrow, you have 53 war? Really? Huh. That's cool. What do you have at your disposal here, Wulong? Capture, both sign, okay. Fake info. Send your opponent fake information and con force and retreat. Secret weapons, one blow, and special moves. If he's going to use one blow, I'm going to go ahead and put both side there. Take your opponent captive through an ambush. If you get through the ambush, into the draw. Um, let's go ahead and try fake info. And then we'll say a seduce here. And then finally, out of desperation, to capture. Strong tactics are fine. That'll be good. 91 intelligence. Hopefully we'll be able to execute some of that. Let me take a look at fake info again. I, I don't, I'm not sure I want to cause them to retreat. I have more war here. <sighs> yeah, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to use that. Wait a bit, then use seduce, then use capture. That should be fine. Let's do this. Wulong is here. If you don't believe, come. I'll prove it in your blood. For Wulong, Zhu Ling will be your opponent. Both sides. Take this. Yeah, it didn't end up being that effective, but oh well. Just wanted to make sure. Nice job, Wulong. Holy go, dude. 
The seduce tactic's not gonna work then. Oh, you coward! 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 Chicken! Didn't even get a chance to use seduce. Yeah, the su success of seduce is also partly based upon your body, so if you're really strong, um, it's not likely that the enemy officer is going to fall for the trick. But if you're, like, severely weakened by the duel, it's more likely that you'll fall for it. That enemy commander is going to go down. Gang song, you fucking dumb shit. Worthless piece of shit. He makes me angry, children. Words cannot express how much I loathe that man. I probably should have been going after, like, the like the relief commander here, but he has a lot of units here. Wait, wait a, wait a, sweet! We did manage to capture him, though, that's cool. We are attacking enemy units. The commander's going to cave! I'm not retreating, though. I'm not going to abandon my dude here. Uh, pursue and I could charge? Fuck it. Chase, charge. I'm on fucking horseback. Fuck you. Probably should have been doing this sooner. I'll go ahead and charge the... His commander's not his strong unit. So shit. I should have... I should have noticed that and paid better attention to that. I did not... Might, might have blown an opportunity here to seize the fucking day. Alas, Camelot. That'll be fine. Let's just uh, hope that nothing too bad happens here. I don't want any of my officers captured. As much as I don't want that commander there of uh, Zheng Lu's to go down, that was just too beautiful. Are you seriously going to pursue? I'm gonna try and run my officers away. I don't want to leave behind a rear guard and risk one of you guys getting captured. And I think we have enough soldiers here, like, I mean, were you, really? Are you really pursuing? If you attack the castle too, that would be hilarious, but no, I'm not gonna leave behind a rear guard. Hopefully, uh, Zhang Lu will, and you know, spare me. He's not after my dudes anyway. Well, he kinda is there. Ouch. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got somebody of my own. You know what, I'm feeling generous. That was such a good lulls and everything. I'll go ahead and release you. It's my fate to put an end to tender-hearted fools like yourself. Really? Good luck with that, buddy. You you did a fantastic job right there. I, I'm totally worried about you because you're serving a guy who abandoned his supply jet while it was under attack. <laughs> See how that me now? If it had been abandoned sooner, that would have been great. If the if our ally commander had been stronger, or if I had noticed that the relief force was actually really weak, the commander anyway, things could have been better. But, oh well. It was still a great laugh. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Oh, that was awesome. I didn't get cap any of my dudes captured, which is great. And Cao Cao got repulsed. Zhang Lu ended up capturing Cao Cao's food too, which is pretty cool. So I mean, I would consider that a total success, but we did pretty good. We killed a lot of troops. You guys, return from your searches. I apparently had two people searching Lo Yang. Oops. Prestige rating of 52. That went up a bit more as well because I actually assisted my ally. 
as opposed to leaving him twisting in the wind. Which is always a good thing. Not leaving your ally twisted in the wind, that's silly. Don't do that. Um, let's get ahead here, and I'm gonna... Oops, didn't mean to do that. Let's draft some troops. Master Reaper is not gonna be doing it this time. I'm gonna have Kishu Lu do it. 68, that's good. And uh, Master Reaper will take these out with them. Lunch. All 68. 100 of them. It's gonna be a pretty expensive lunch, not gonna lie. Yep, take those with me and leave 100 footmen behind. That'll be good. Huge force we'll have packed up here in Wudu. Go to get the gumdrops. Um, check out these cities. You're doing fine. Slowly. Slowly. I would need somebody with like... Ah, fuck it. Work together. Make it happen. No, that's silly. Don't, don't do that. Don't listen to me. <laughs> I, I don't want you guys like... I don't want loyal to be... Oh, fuck it. Don't be pussies about it. Work together. Make shit happen. Can't, can't afford, you know, fucking tenderfoots here. I'm, I'm enough of a tenderfoot the way it is, everybody. Tian Shui, that's good. People need to improve the city, and they are. Ending. Good, you guys are working on improving that city. Your energy has been lowered a bit. If I have to fulfill another relief request, I'd have to t give you guys a break. How much population is here? Can we afford to draft soldiers here? We can. I should do that because I weaken myself. Many of my horses got killed. Both in the actual attack itself and during the process of retreating, I lost some troops, obviously. Not good. You know, could be worse. Go ahead and have um, Ma T here. That's too many units. I don't want to go completely gold broke. I mean, I'm gonna need this gold to like tide me over. I'm not gonna go completely gold broke. Fuck it. I, I guess I'm not gonna draft another army, and if need be, I will ship troops from all the way back to assist the city. 45 here, 69 here, 518 there. There are the proofs of that. Rest assured, there are the proofs. Do we have somebody else with a stupid justice dream? No, we don't. Normally, I'd be excited about that. <laughs> Actually, uh, let's have Master Reaper here uh, spend his remaining energy here talking to some folks. Let's talk to folks that we haven't talked to before. Folks that I don't recall talking to before. Ma Wan? Probably talked to him before. Uh, maybe somebody like uh, Ma Ti? You recommend expansion to that city? I don't remember where that is, but apparently it borders us. I will talk to... Hmm, Peng Day. You once again recommend that city. And I will talk with Yiji. Okay, that seems reasonable. Now let's go find the city that they keep talking about. You guys recommending that. <laughs> Whatever, kids. I ain't fucking attacking that. You're fucking crazy. I, I'm not gonna. No. No, you children need to fucking get off the helium. That's all I got to say about that. That wraps up this video. Next time, I'm going to continue to consolidate my forces. I will probably wait for Autumn. And then, uh, if um, Zetong is still exposed, I will attack Lu Zhang. Damn the consequences. That, he's got a huge stack. But I have armored horsemen, and I have me. And I'm a pretty effective dude at this game. Yang Yang. Lu Zhang, you smug son of a bitch. I'll show you. Yang An. He's lots of troops there. Bordering Lu Biao, though. Lu Biao is huge. I mean, he's got all those free cities there. Normally, I see uh, Sun Se do a better job against him. That's not true this game. 
Alright, that's enough babble and prattle. I'm done here, children. Doodaloo.